Hello everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking, and welcome to this new episode of Let's Play Undertale Blind. Last time, we've somehow survived Metaton's attack on us and watched the uh, romance from their Blossom Fort. This time, we're gonna be dealing with some of those puzzles that are barring our way at this point, so let's get going. But first, a little drink for me. Okay, let's get going. This looks like this is the play. Hmm. We've been attacked by a Tsundere plane. Tsundere plane attacks, not because the Jailus Vulcan is paying attention to you. Hmm. Wonder what happens if I hug Vulcan. You give Vulcan a hug, it warms your heart. And your whole body, ouch, your defense drop. It's not like I like you. Ah, so lobby. Vulcan cheeks glow with bright heat. You get close to some dirt plane, but not too close. Each human feels so strange. Vulcan cheeks glow with bright heat, and we spared them. We are in hundred gold as well. My old gold is down pretty quickly. Then again, an entitled, huh? But still. So, yep, yeah, it's the same puzzle as before, just a tiny bit more complicated. It's not that big a deal. So, I only have one shot for this. Okay, we're good. Congratulations! Who's that guy? My favorite Metaton moments, TM, is when he beats up the heel turning villains. Even if it's during what's supposed to be a quiz show. My favorite Metaton moments, TM, right when everything looks the baddest, he poses dramatically. Like when he's on a cooking show and the eggs don't turn out right. I think Metaton might be my next kill because uh, I'm kind of getting tired of being uh, of people trying to kill me. So yep. Ew. This could be complicated. Huh. Somehow I made it. There we go. Ring. Hey! This, um, doesn't have anything to do with guiding you, but... Uh, hey! Would you want to watch a human TV show together? Sometime. It's called, um, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. Sure. Really? It's so good. It's, um, my favorite show. It's all about this human girl named Mew Mew who is a cat girl, which humans don't... who has cat ears. It is <laughs> whatever. I can't keep up at all. So apparently she can control the minds of people by kissing them. And they don't remember anything after the kiss. So... Apparently she learns that uh, mind controlling people is, <laughs> is not a good thing to do. Uh, I think you'd really like it. <laughs> we should watch it. After you get through all this. <laughs> So yeah, Dr. Alphys was basically spazzing over this anime or whatever. But yeah, you can probably look the entire transcript on the wiki and spo uh, whatever. It's not important. Hmm. Okay, that was the way. I thought this would give me more trouble. Guess the puzzles are still fairly easy. You stopped to smell the flowers. 
as they said earlier, the most tsundere of clans. Okay, this is done, we can go through. Let's do this! The smell of cobwebs filled the air. You're filled with determination. Yep, I'm not falling for this again. <laughs> so, yep. <laughs> Did you hear what they just said? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come true. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. Oh, I would never. I do stomp on spiders, they creep me out. I heard. I can't move. Help. That they're awfully stingy with their money. Yeah. <laughs> you think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. Muffet traps you. So yep, yeah, that's Muffet, the spider lady, and she wants to eat me for some reason. <laughs> so yeah, if you notice a few things are different, namely with my items, is because uh, I actually decided to go back to Auckland uh, uh, to waterfall off screen. I switched uh, my stained apron for cloudy glasses to give me a chance on this, as well as a few consumables, because honestly, I'm gonna kill her. She's trying the same, so am I. Don't look so blue, my dearie. No way around this, and this is difficult. I think purple is be a better look on you. <laughs> You're trapped in a strange purple web. Why so pale? You should be proud! Look, it pours you a cup of spiders! Proud that you're going to make a delicious cake! <laughs> Look, it pours you a cup of spiders! She does that a lot. Let you go? Don't be silly! Puffet tidies up the web around you. I think I figured out what you're supposed to do in this fight. Your soul is going to make every spider very happy. It smells like freshly baked cobwebs. Oh, how rude of me! I almost forgot to introduce you to my pet! It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two! Yeah, I forgot I was supposed to pay her to reduce her attack there. This is not gonna be good. That guy isn't nice at all. First time ain't so bad. Muffet does synchronized dance with the other spiders. We're not doing too badly for someone who didn't fight at all. Person who warned us about you. Grab apple. Offered us a lot of money for your soul. Okay, so if you look at a spider on the right, you can actually know what kind of attack she's gonna use. They had such a sweet smile in. <laughs> oh, a boomerang. That's new. Love it tidies up the web around you. It's strange, but I swear I saw them in the shadows, changing shape. Shifters are never good. Okay. 
So right now, if you pay her, you pay 10 gold. Muffet reduce her attack for this turn. Well, it's lunchtime, isn't it? And I forgot to feed my pet. The less we move, the better, I suppose. All the spiders clap along to the music. Let's have a hot dog. You eat the hot dog. Got 24 HP. With that money, the spider clans can be finally be reunited. Hope it doesn't synchronize dance with the other spiders. You haven't heard? Spiders have been trapped in the ruins for generations. Muffet doesn't synchronize dance with the other spiders. I think we can survive this. Even if they go under the door, Snowden's fatal cold is, is impassable alone. These boomerangs actually aren't so bad. Muffet tidies up the web around you. Eat a crab apple, recover 22 HP, but with the money from your soul, we'll be able to rent them a heated limo. What if it pours you a cup of spiders? And with all the leftovers, we could have a nice vacation! Or even build a spider baseball field! I guess spiders can play baseball if they want to. Muffet pours you a cup of spiders. You pay 40 G. Muffet reduces her attack for this turn. But enough of that. It's time for dinner, isn't it? <laughs> That's a lot of spiders. I don't like my chances on this. You're still alive? Uh -huh. Oh, my pet, looks like it's time for dessert. Ah, a telegram from the spiders in the ruins. What? They're saying that they saw you and... Even if you hurt others, you never hurt a single spider. Oh my, this, uh, this has all been a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. That person who asked for that soul. They must have meant a different human in striped shirt. Sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime, and for no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pets again. Hee <laughs> just kidding. I'll spare you now. Puffet is sparing you. Well, I don't care. Eat crab apple. <laughs> what are you doing? You're done, lady. That spider doesn't seem all that happy, huh? Well, she had it coming. Oh, That's so sad. You won! You're in 300 XP and 100 gold. Your all up increased. Ooh. Was difficult now, was it? It's a poster for Metaton's latest stage performance, a tragic tale of two star crossed lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Oh, that human! Could it be? My one true love? Oh my! <laughs> That's Final Fantasy VI opera scene all over again. Let's 
Okay, so whatever you do, you're stuck there. So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. Ew. Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my Kermor will certainly perish. Oh heavens have mercy, that horrible color tiled maze. Each color tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tide sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles would actually... Wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right. You remember all the rules, don't you? Great, then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you'd better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... Ugh. You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. <laughs> My poor love, I'm so filled with grief, I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. Oops. Not gonna get true, am I? Oh, I'm so sorry. Looks like you're out of time. Here comes the flames, darling. They're closing in. Getting closer. Oh my. Any minute now. Robotic cough. Ring. Watch out. I'll save you. I'm hanging into the firewall right now. Oh no! How could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys! I didn't get that. That's right. Come on, Metaton. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Alphys, darling. What are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound. Then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me! Ooh, Metaton attacks! His metal body still renders him vulnerable to attacks. This is it, darling. Say goodbye! Uh, is that your phone? You'd better answer it. Hey, this is bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. Your phone's egg menu is glowing. You press the delay yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Uh, what is this? Now press Z. Oh. Oh. You've defeated me. How can this be? You are stronger than I thought, etc. Uh, I'm thinking that's Toodles or whatever. Ring. Looks like you beat him. You did a really great job out there. All thanks to you. Or something. What? Oh no, I mean. You are the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey. This might sound strange, but... Can I tell you something? Before I met you... I didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. Like I couldn't do anything without. 
without ending up letting everyone down. But getting you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the car. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Indeed, and finish this we shall. Oh, that nice green dude. Hey, it's you again. Business is excellent here. Those two fellows bought all my ice cream. I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Ah, oh, that's really sweet of you, man. Oh, hey. We're, like, taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? He seems happy. Ah, good for them. What's Papyrus got to say about that? What? Ice cream? Sure, I'll try. Ah! I'm screaming very slowly. <laughs> How about that? Oh, that's where we enter. That would be the dungeon. How about that way? Okay, get it. Hey, hey! Did you remember my name? Did you? I sure did. What? You remember? How could it be so easily how would I be so easily defeated? I'll always remember that you remembered. Ah, that's good for you, dude. Huh. Hey! Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Hey, I heard you're going to the car. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Sure. Great, thanks for tweeting me. Over here, I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey is almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, but... Uh, though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do. Really worth it? Hmm. Ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. Oh, I get it. This was those things with the mushrooms that we saw back in Snowden. So one day, I'm knocking him out like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? Dishes is a very bad joke. <laughs> Indeed, it's absolutely terrible. <laughs> then she just howls with laughter. Like, it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep on coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other's jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It's rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. Asked her what was up, then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know who knew her name, but... Someone who sincerely likes bad jokes, has an integrity you can say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead. 
where you stand. Hey, blind or not, bucko? I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Hey, what does that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Yeah, I kinda died. <laughs> huh. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Cause someone really cares about you. Hmm. It's a wall of fame full of quotes and photos from visiting celebrities. The food is to die for. Gorgeous style and fragrance. My face tastes beautiful. These are all Metaton. It's a platoon of ficuses. It's some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. It's about a plant. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. I'm just kinda consuming dew of this ficus. It's about a plant. So yep, about that conversation with Sam, I'm pretty sure that woman would actually be Toriel. Which is kinda bad because we had to kill her to get through the underground. That game seems to be intent on torturing me about that. Oh well. It's some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. It's a performance schedule. Comedians, dancers, Sam. Seems like there's a break now. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to avoid humans attacks. But now, building things winding and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go uh, two feet without being up to your armpits in puzzles. Got that right, dude. Huh, it's a mole. I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. Well, I don't. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. <laughs> That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> That's not funny. So yeah, I think his kid might have been that uh, monster that we saw back in... Was that Snowden or the Ruins? What is that thing? Blub blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... That sounds like a terrible place. Ah. Yeah, Sean Caltorial. Ring, ring. Fancy schmancy restaurant. After tasting my cooking, that seems pointless, right? You've got that right. Oh, the MTT Resort. But we're gonna stop right here. First, the relaxing atmosphere of this hotel. It fills you with determination. So that's gonna be it for the time being. Thank you for watching, everyone. This was The Red Pumpkin. Y'all have a pleasant time now. Bye-bye.